Hey guys, what's up? This is Jason the Redhead Henry, and today I kind of have a side tutorial for you. Um, this is really just going to be kind of just a, I don't know, I guess sort of a an easier way to go about animating inside of After Effects. And I've actually been wanting to do this. I guess I should have done this from the start, but um, I might as well just throw it in here now so it gives you guys just a couple of different options. So originally how we would go about um, animating inside of After Effects is you would throw in an entire sound of the stage, and then you would mask out the individual poses. So uh, instead, of, instead of doing that, because that can get a little tedious and sometimes it can get a little bit daunting, um, instead of doing that, what you can do before you go into all your production work inside of After Effects, you can just do get it all done in your pre-production phase. Now, it might take longer to do it because you're going to cut out each individual pose, say in Paint or Photoshop, but um, like say for an entire sheet or multiple sheets, so that might take longer, but ultimately if you're doing it inside of After Effects, then you'll have all those poses ready to go and you won't need to do any masking whatsoever. So just going to go ahead and show you guys really quickly how to do this. Uh, so you kind of get the idea of what's going on here. So I just have a sprite sheet of Goku here, thanks to uh, Angry Boy from spreading on a whim for allowing me to, for, <laughs> for allowing me to do this. And um, so essentially, what you'd be doing is you're, you'd cut out each individual pose. So I'm just doing this in Paint for the purpose of this tutorial. So say we'll do this one. Just copy that. Just gonna paste it in here into a new document. And I'm going to just save this as, so I already had a G-Stance 1. I'll just call it G-Stance 1. Yes, I do. Okay, so we'll do one more. Uh, actually, we'll do two more. Okay, paste this in here. Get rid of this little crap at the bottom. Save as, and we will call this G flying and we'll do one more and we'll just call this one copy that and then we'll just call this one uh, G punch okay so once you've done that with all of your sprites then what you're gonna wanna do is go inside of After Effects and then you're just going to import them all in. So I'm going to import these in. I'm going to set up a new folder and call this Sprites. Okay. I'm going to do one more folder and call it Goku and make sure that that folder, that new folder, is inside that Sprites folder. And then I'm just going to take those Goku Sprites, throw them right into the Goku folder, and then boom, there you go. So if you go up to Composition, New Composition, blah, 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 you've got your new stage going here. Oh, okay, I want to start off with Goku flying. Boom, there he is. Scale him up. Do all of your uh, color keying. And then you don't even need to mask him now. Say the next one you want to do is just him punching and just throw it right in. So it definitely cuts back on having to fiddle around with uh, the full sprite sheet. So that's pretty much it for this little side tutorial. I'm still, actually, I might be redoing this uh, fighting tutorial now with uh, just these individual poses. So uh, definitely would make things a lot easier. So yeah, stick around for that. It'll probably hopefully be done by the end of this week, but don't hold me to that. So uh, yeah, I will catch you guys later.